Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proctivity 2000 PLC Ladder Logic Math. Now, math instructions perform mathematical calculations. The Proctivity 2000 series PLC has math instructions that, will, that you can use in various applications. We will look at the data statistics or data and math editor or math instructions. We will demonstrate both of these instructions using examples in the help file. An average wind speed will be calculated using the data instruction based on six different inputs and calculating Celsius to Fahrenheit degrees will be done with the math instruction for the oven temperature. The automated system that you are implementing may involve these instructions. You will require the, using these instructions in your commission programs as a system integrator. Let's get started with the Proctivity 2000 series PLC math instructions. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. The data instruction is used to find a mathematical statistic for up to 16 tags or constants. We can select one of the following, sum, min, max, average, median, or standard deviation. The instruction has an input and output section. This is where we input our tags. A radio button selection is at the bottom of the instruction to select what operation you would like to use. In our case, DS1 to DS6 are placed in the input tags. If you do not know the tag reference, you can create a name for it. The output tag will be called DS output. We will set DS1 to DS6 as memory retentive tags. Memory is retained after a power interruption or switch from run to program mode. This can be set when prompted by using the memory for the first time or with the tag database. We will assign numbers to our DS1 to DS6 tags. Switch 1 will enable our first data statistics instruction. This will be used to sum or add the numbers together. Copy and paste are then used to copy the first rung three more times, making the following changes. So switch number two will find the minimum value of the tags DS1 uh, to DS6. Switch three will find the minimum maximum value of the tags DS2 to DS6. And then our application for the average wind speed will be calculating using switch number four. Switch four will find the average value of the tags DS1 to DS6. Six. Now each time the rung with the st data statistics is copied, the switch number is changed and the radio button at the bottom of the instruction is used to select the operation required. This helps in quickly creating your ladder logic program. The math editor will perform common math computations using tags and constants. Here is a list of operations that are available. Arithmetic operations like add, subtract, multiply, divide, modulo, and raise of to a power, and absolute value. Then we have real functions like natural log, pi, square root, invert, and log base 10. Trigonomic functions include the sine, cosine, tangent, arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent. Then we have the radiant trigonomic functions. So all of these are uh, functions are available, you, available to you through the math editor. Now in our example, we will take the oven temperature in degrees Celsius, which is 271, and convert this to Fahrenheit degrees 520. The formula we will be using is degree C times 1.8 plus 32. Now the tag name is entered by selecting the tag entry mode button or by selecting the tag name and hitting the insert button. Tag names are highlighted in red. Formula entries are in black and you have to remember that the order of operation is effective for the formula. So you can download the PLC program below. Now turning on switch number five, you will see that our number is converted. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. 
If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.